guys, how you doing? So today I'm going to be talking about this subject from now on. So I have three scriptures that are talking about this subject. The first scripture I shared with you guys is John 1 verse 43. Then Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said, follow me. Jesus comes out of nowhere in our lives when we're down and everything seems impossible to overcome. When we think that we're done and that it's all over, Jesus steps out of nowhere and, tell, and tells us to follow him. He's going to take us on an incredible journey full of despair and full of there's full of it's full of obstacles guys it's not going to be easy but it's all worth the while because along the way Jesus will bring people to us in our lives to minister to to save will be used by the king when we thought that we weren't good enough to be used by the king but he uses us because it's in our weakness that his strength is revealed it's in our scars that the healing can shine through because Jesus healed us from all our scars and our wounds he took us through our problems and he cleansed away our sin he knew that we needed help from him so he stepped into our lives Jesus steps into your shoes you may think that you're too bad and too unforgivable to be used by the king. But let me tell you, Jesus is going to use you in a mighty way. He wants you to follow him, and we need to keep following him. Jesus has a purpose for you. If, he, if you didn't have a purpose, then why would God want anything to do with you it's those who are struggling so much and those who want forgiveness with their whole heart they want to be forgiven by Jesus those are the people that he uses because those are the people that honestly want a relationship with him some people aren't chosen because they refuse to accept Jesus that's why but Jesus chooses us out of millions of people for a special job alright second scripture John 1 verse 48 how do you know me Nathaniel asked Jesus answered I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you Jesus sees past present and future he sees us in our times of grief. He knows what's going to happen before it even happens. He knows who we are before we're even introduced to him. He knows us, what we want. He knows the inner parts of us. He knows the unclean parts. And he knows the parts that we need work work on. That's why he offers to fix us. You know... Jesus Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you to know that you are loved and that you don't need the world's love, but you need his love. Even when your friends abandon you, it's because they're they're not meant to be in your life. The life that Jesus has for you is far greater than this life here on earth. Jesus is going to do something through you that you could never even imagine something that you never thought you you could do because you've been so down all this time all these people said that you were so bad and you'd never be forgiven and that they were holier than you or that you'd never be used by God because you're just not good enough well I gotta tell you that Jesus loves everyone and he uses the broken he uses the struggled, he uses the bad influences, he uses the sinner, he uses the prodigals, he uses the weak so that his strength can shine through. 
Jesus has a purpose for you. So don't be, don't doubt yourself because all your other friends have already been used by God. You're just in the process of getting to where you're going to be used by God. Trust me, I've been there. I've been wondering, when am I going to get used by God? It's true, guys, I have. But God made a way out of no way. He made it clear to me what I need to do. And He's going to make it clear to you. Just trust in Him. Alright. Third and final scripture. John 1 verse 50. Jesus said, You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. Jesus is going to show you so much. So much that you never knew before in your life. He's going to show you pathways to people. He's going to show you what you need to do in the future. He's going to show you what awaits you on the other side. He's going to use you to reach those who are lost in that want something. They don't know what they want, but Jesus is going to step in their lives through you. Jesus is going to, and you know, right before you meet Jesus, you tend to serve the flesh, and when you don't serve the Lord, you know, and I'll get to that, you know, it's like food and TV, all you want to do is watch TV and, and eat food, but as soon as you accept Jesus, you just want more and more and more of Him, and Jesus wants to give you more, but He will, you will see people saved, you will see a change in people's lives, you will see greater things that has never been witnessed before by anyone on earth. There will be a shaking in your life, but there will also be a blessing in your life. There will be countless times where you fail. But you know what? Jesus will always bring you back up. So from now on, whenever there is a problem bigger than you, call on the bigger God. Because God can handle anything. There is no problem that is big enough, bigger than God. None that is stronger than God. God can take care of it. If He can use a little boy with seven stones and a sling to take down a giant with a sword and a shield and armor, then He can most definitely use you to save the lost. Just remember that Jesus has a purpose for you. You don't know what the purpose is yet, but it will be reviewed, revealed to you in due time. Just trust in Him. Just let it sink in right now. Alright, I hope you got something out of this, guys. I'm going to close in prayer. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in my life, Lord. Please, Lord... Forgive me my sin, Lord. Please, Lord, let them know that from now on you will be by their side and you will help them through every problem in their life, Lord. And you will help them save the loss. No problem is bigger than you, Lord. You are my Messiah, Lord. You are El Shaddai, my healer. And you are bigger than any devil, Lord. You are bigger than any lie. And you are bigger than any situation. You are bigger than all my giants, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for bringing me past them, Lord. Please, Lord, let them be brought through all the problems that will be staring them in the face in the future, Lord. Please, Lord, let them just see that you are bigger than their problems, Lord. Please, Lord, help me be a better teacher than I have been, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in my life, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for making Daniel's plan simple, all about you, Lord. Please, Lord, do the same with their lives. Let them make their lives all about you, not about them. Because it's all about you, Lord, and it's not about them. It's not about enjoyment. It's not about being happy. It's about serving you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. With you, there is happiness, Lord. So from now on, let them see that whatever life the enemy tries to throw at them, let them see that you are stronger and that your truth overpowers 
the devil's lies. I thank you, Lord. I praise you in your awesome and your glorious and your beautiful name, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I praise you in your name. Amen. All right, so guys, remember, I'm just plain simple, but he is not. He is beautiful and he is lovely and he is glorious. So from now on, remember that. Whenever the devil throws a lie at you, just remind him that God is stronger than any problem. Because he is. And when times are tough, praise God in the storm. God is bigger than the storms. So from now on, call on him in your storms and he will calm them. See you guys, please, and like and subscribe. God bless.